Yo, what's good? It's Dill, and today I'm going to be minting a test NFT. Shout out to the NFTS.tips community. You've all inspired me to get going with my NFT project. I've been real excited about crypto and NFTs since early 2016, and I've always known this tech can revolutionize music and art for good. So I'm really excited about this and everything it's doing for artists. So shout out to the NFTS.tips community. I'm really grateful to have all of your support. So let's get into this test nft that people have been asking about on clubhouse i wanted to show you guys why i'm making a little bit of an investment to make sure my genesis release goes smoothly i'm basically going to mint a random test nft with similar properties to what i'm trying to create with the crypto rich deluxe nft and that way i don't have any problems on the release i know a lot of people in the community have had some problems on the release and they end up having to mint another nft anyway or spend another transaction fee anyway so so I figured I would just go ahead and mint a test, even if it costs a little bit. It's just an investment to make sure my Genesis release goes smoothly. And so about what we're creating today, it's a test for the Crypto Rich Deluxe NFT. This is the NFT. It's actually uh, animated and moving with music and everything. So this is just a preview of it. And this is the structure and just a quick rundown. My NFT also comes with a lifetime VIP program. So uh, VIP access, meet and greet, merch airdrops, all this cool stuff that I'm really excited about. Uh, you can also sign up for my huge collaborative NFT project, whether you're an artist or a collector. So if you're a collector and you want to be notified about all all this just come sign up on my site just enter your email it's it's lit.org slash nft you can see it there at the top and yeah that's the 19 collab but today we're going to be focused on the crypto rich deluxe nft so this is a one of 100 album cover collectible uh it's got the album cover i showed you below it's animated and moving with a song so you haven't seen the full nft yet but you saw a preview and the floor price is gonna be 0.2 ETH. What that means is the lowest price is gonna be 0.2 ETH. I've created an increasing price structure here. So basically the first 10 uh, NFTs are gonna be at 0.2 ETH and it goes up from there, but I've actually numbered them. So I'm not entirely sure how it works on Rarible, but I think that the NFTs actually do have numbers. So if that's the case, I'm going to list it in this format where the most expensive ones are the numbers one through 10. So this is an increasing price NFT. Uh, it's experimental. I don't know of other people who have done this personally, but I'm sure other people have done similar things. And I'm going to be modeling it first for my test on Rarible. So I've actually done this a few times, guys, full disclosure. Um, I actually went through the process of uploading my Crypto Rich NFT. I got it all set up and then I was like, you know what? I wanna do a test to make sure I don't mess this up. So, you know, you can just create a new account and do a test at any time. What I'm doing here is I'm just doing a test with one of my MetaMask accounts. I've been using MetaMask and everything for a while. Uh, if you're new to it, it can be kind of hard to figure out, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that tough. And now uh, here's an old transaction that I should have rejected. But anyway, you can always just create a new account by clicking create account here. And then you can create a new Ethereum account. So I'm doing a test right now. And then what I'm going to do is when it's time to mint my Crypto Rich Deluxe NFT, I'll just create a new account and start with a brand new fresh Ether address for minting my Crypto Rich Deluxe NFT. So yeah, let's get into this creation process. We're creating a multiple here. Like I said, it's a one of 100. And for the file, I'm just gonna put a random picture. So we can just put my profile picture. I'm not gonna put it on sale, cause like I said, I'm gonna list it in batches of 10. And I think I'm gonna do that manually. Um, unlock once purchased. I'm not entirely sure what this does. Oh, okay, so this is how you can put unlockable content. Um, I'm not going to have unlockable content directly in the NFT right now. I don't plan to. Uh, so the name is going to be Dill Test. And the description, Dill Test NFT, do not buy. Um, and let's see. Royalties, we are going to do uh let's say 20 percent or well we're gonna model it off crypto rich deluxe so it will be 10 percent 
Um, and by the way, I tried doing this with ERC-1155. That's the transaction you saw me cancel. It was like half an ether, which I wasn't ready to pay. So I'm not really sure what the difference between ERC-1155 and the RARI token are here. I've tried to look into it. There's not a lot of information easily available on Google. And even in the Rarible FAQ, I don't clearly see what the difference is here. So maybe Rarible could add something to elaborate or maybe someone could just explain it to me. But I'm doing the Rari token. I don't know how this works or what's going to happen. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try this. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and send it. So the properties, they're not going to have any properties. Um, I guess this is how maybe you could allow a user to put in some information or something like that, or each one could have some different uh, properties. I don't, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go ahead and create item. I think that's it. And I went through that kind of quick guys, but like I said, I've actually done this already and okay, this makes more sense. So you can see here, the gas fee comes up, it's 7311. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this gas fee a little bit. Now this is a, a good tip for you guys. You don't have to pay this much gas. Like the gas fee is 201 right now. Don't worry about the gas limit. Don't touch that. That is the, the size of the contract and determines whether or not it can execute properly. But this gas price, you can always reduce this and you might have to wait a little bit, but the gas price usually comes down. So I'm going to put it at 175, which is still kind of expensive, but I'm willing to invest $63 to make sure that my Genesis release goes correctly. So, but you see guys, I've saved like 10 bucks here. And if you wanted to wait even longer, you could uh, put that gas fee even lower. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm it and mint. Now, what happened here is I'm on my profile. I guess this is going through with minting now. I've just minted that collectible NFT, the one of 100 dill test NFT. Uh, I haven't verified my account or anything. Like I said, this is just a test account that I don't intend to sell anything on. I'm going to create a brand new account and verify it when I do my dill NFT. So yeah, I uh, assume that it's just waiting for the transaction to go through now. And yeah, you can see that here. We're waiting for this mint to go through. So I am going to leave it here and come back in a few minutes and when it will be done. All right, guys, and you see that my mint just completed, and that was actually really quick. Even after reducing the price, that only took a few minutes, so I probably could have put the gas price even lower. I mean, 175 is crazy high. I probably could have put it down to like, uh, 100 or 120. I mean, I've had fees clear at like 75 recently, but that takes like a whole day. So you can really change the gas price according to how long you're willing to wait. But I just paid, you know, 60 bucks and got it done very quickly. And that was after taking off a little bit of gas. So I probably could have reduced that to like 50 or 40 bucks. You just have to think about how long you're willing to wait. So here we go. Dill test NFT non for sale. Uh, here's all the info about it. I really don't know much about how to use this. So I'm learning real time here guys uh, So anyway, here's the info 10% Okay, so this is what I've seen on other people's collection I guess this is what everyone's using on rareable. So that's how you mint with the rareable chain I don't exactly understand how it works and how it's different than the ERC 1155 I guess they're just using one one contract. I'm not sure so Let's see. Put on sale. Instant braille price. Enter the price for which the item can be instantly sold. Let's see. Now let's go to next step. Now I don't understand this. How do I set the how do I set the price? Instant price? Enter price for one piece. Oh, okay, this is how you do it. Okay, so Let's see. This is like 0.2 ETH. So 
there's a service fee, and okay, so I put 10 for 0.2 ETH. Okay, so now let's give this a try. I'm just gonna keep the gas fee so that it goes through quickly. All right, let's see how it goes. So now we've got 10 for sale for 0.2 ETH. And yeah, I think this is it, guys. I mean, now I've pretty much tested what I need to test. I've got an NFT listed. There's 10 for sale for 0.2 ETH. After those 10 go for sale, I'll have to come back and put the rest on sale at the next price range. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, that was pretty straightforward. Let's see if I jump back to my account. Uh, that's my notifications, my items. So yeah, you see now I've got this item in my, in my Ethereum account. Uh, this is a collectible. It's for sale for 0.2 ETH. Everything worked actually exactly as I thought. To give a little review of what happened here, guys, is I was trying to make the video and I kept trying the different collections, ERC-1155 versus the Rarible token, because I don't really understand the difference and I still don't understand the difference, but I do know that the other one was like half an ether, whereas this one was just a normal gas fee. So I think that this Rarible collection is essentially a cheaper smart contract that they're able to create your token somehow. I'm not too concerned about it. And the reason is because I think that this Rarible community is pretty strong. And so whatever most people are doing here seems to be acceptable for buying and selling. So you can see that I put these on sale and uh, I'm not actually going to leave them on sale right now because I want the focus to be on my crypto rich deluxe nft so i'm gonna go ahead and remove them from sale but let's go ahead and remove see this gas fee 211 the gas fee the, i'm sorry the gas price there 211 it's just determining how expensive the gas is the gas limit determines how much so you see it's only 21 but with the 211 price now let's reduce it because i have time to wait let's say because I'm just removing it from sale. You guys aren't gonna see this video until it definitely goes through. And even though it says gas price extremely low, we just got one through at 175. So I think putting it at like 150 or even 130 will still pretty reliably go through. But I don't wanna wait too long, so I'll just put it at 150. And that's it guys. Uh, this is the Dill Test NFT. The sale will be canceled by the time you guys see this video, but it is created uh, permanently now on my blockchain. So there will forever be this Dill Test NFT, but at least it's on this different account that I don't intend to use uh, for my real uh, NFT sale. So yeah, definitely check out my website, guys. It's lit.org slash NFT. I hope you'll check out the Crypto Rich NFT and make sure to go to the NFTS.tips community. You can see that there, transaction canceling. But yeah, NFTS.tips, NFTS.tips. Check out the website. We have a great community forming and you can learn a whole bunch about NFTs on the site. So join the conversation, get in on NFTS.tips, join us on Clubhouse. It's been such an inspiration for me and the community has been so helpful in helping me launch my Crypto Rich Deluxe token. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys and make sure to follow me on Instagram, send me a DM if you have any questions. You can also subscribe to my YouTube. Just look up Dill, D-Y-L, in the search bar and you'll find me. Thanks guys. Much love.